We're off to Chapsworth Flower Show this morning and I'd like to take you with me. So come on then, let's go and get in the van. Running a bit late, I'm supposed to be meeting my friend at half past seven. And uh, I think uh, we're... Uh, I'm going to be mad with me, I'm going to be late, but it's raining and we're going to have a lovely day. Right, can't film and drive, so see you at my friends. I'm at my friends, it's slinging it down with me. Get on my things, right. This is my friend Jo and her mum. Well, it's really raining now and the sound on this camera is not very good because I've got the full waterproof housing on it. Uh, so I think I will have to do some voiceovers. Here we are, stood in the rain, waiting to go in. Well, we're finally in. It's still raining. We've been queuing for about an hour or so in the rain. So we'll just uh, wander down and uh, find somewhere inside, I think. That might be the best uh, idea. The forecast says it's going to stop raining, so I'm hoping it's right. You can see Chatsworth House, but you can't see the nice gold windows. This rain and dark clouds is not really making for it for very picturesque. But we'll carry on down here, and I think these are the visual displays that they've got. And further on down, which is just coming up to it, is the bee. Just coming up to the insect houses that's been built by the children. There's some very nice ones. Everything's looking a bit bedraggled. And you can see the big bee statue. We're just coming up to and going to walk in under. This is the well dressing section and we're going to have a look round and vote for our favourite. They're all based on the Ch uh, Chatsworth House and gardens and surrounding area. Nice. 
pretty nice. I'm going to vote for this one. Oh, I really like that, that's nice. Yeah. I think my friends voted for this one. Just about to cross the Derwent River now on this bridge that's all been decorated. I put a few subtitles on so you can see who the designer was and more information about this display. Going in this big domey thing first. They're a bit, a bit big for your garden. We have to chop off the stem off for you. I like that fairy. What? What have I just been walked in front of? I'm getting in trouble with my friends. Apparently, I just walked in front of them because I wanted to come and see this fairy. I like that, that's good. That's as well. Yeah. Big change from all the rain, nice and dry in here.
They make a good uh, cut flower though, don't yeah, they, for the they house? Do. They do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, some little ones though. Oh, they're relatives of the sweet peas. Yeah. yeah. It's nice over that archway. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. Mm. I really smell these now. Mm. Move along. Oh, these old fashioned ones. I wonder what we can yeah. smell. Very nice. Yeah, smelly vision. We need smelly vision. They've done well then, haven't they? We saw lots of different cactuses I'd never seen before, especially what this one. This is a hundred year old gate from Tissington Nursery. Some of these in my conservatory, the amount of flies I get in. I love this stand, it's got alliums, tulips, daffodils, lilies, all sorts on it, calla lilies, it's absolutely beautiful, some absolutely gorgeous daffodils. I'm a bit partial to a lily. I really like lilies and I've just got into calla lilies so there's some beautiful flowers for me to choose from. I've got it written down the ones I'm going to buy. This one in particular it's one of my favourites. I really love the colour. I love that pink. Quite taken with these as well. They're very delicate. I really like the little delicate shapes. And these as well, these are very pretty. Very soft and delicate. This is a plant I've been telling you about that I'm growing in hanging baskets. It's the a tomato but a currant. See all the tiny little tomatoes on it and it climbs up. Well I'm hoping it's going to work in my hanging baskets. I managed to get a close up without it going blurry and they, they look really nice. And this is a yellow one. I'm growing this one as well. And they really look nice. I saw them last year and was fascinated with them. So I'm hoping that I'm going to do well with them. This stand we bought lots of seeds from last year. 
with some really interesting uh, plants on it. These are irises. Uh, I love irises and I've decided I want some in my garden. But I was talking to the gentleman on this stand and they said that these particular irises really need well-drained soil. Uh, so I might just have a look around for something else to start with that's not as hard to grow. got to one of my favourite plants, lilies. Lilies and dahlias are my favourites and this display was absolutely beautiful. Sometimes I have a lot of trouble with lily beetle so um, I've got to find something for next year to sort that out. I can't, I can't have them destroying my favourite flower. This pink one is beautiful. I, I love pinks and purples. Lilac, I like a lilac colour. That's very nice up there, and like, like lilac. This is my favourite stand. It's a National Dahlia collection and it won a gold award. This is where I bought my dahlia from. If I see it I'll point it out to you. But there's loads of uh, dahlias that I really like and the kind lady has wrote, written all the names down for me so I can order them for next year. This is one that I'm ordering for next year, Fashion Monger. Really pretty. This is the one that I bought. I really like this stand, full of beautiful blue poppies. Water. 
There's a brilliant display of tomatoes, some absolutely fantastic tomatoes, different varieties, really big ones as well. I didn't buy any more clematis this year even though this one here is my favourite and I couldn't get it last year because it sold out and again this year look sold out these trees were beautiful with the water dripping off of them. If I had a water feature I think I'd have to have one of these. ideas for how to grow things. There's a bath here, look. Look at that. Growing things in a bath. Use 
Christmas recycling. Water, water saving garden, yeah. weren't it? Yeah. Run off. It's all supposed to be fed off from the runoff water from yeah. your house. Yeah. It runs off on, into them big, these big barrels. Oh, well, this one under the, under the hill. Oh, yeah, under there. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. then it comes through, and then it, and when it gets too much, it, it runs into your garden and waters your garden. Who's talking to me? Everywhere was muddy, at least it had stopped raining, but uh, yeah, we had to cross quite a lot of boggy bits to get to see things. Most of the gardens were on the other side of the river. It didn't seem as busy by the time we got over to the gardens. I liked this one, it seemed a bit old fashioned but it seemed to fit in with the landscape behind it because this used to be quite a popular type of uh, garden display. I've got this plant in my garden, I bought it on holiday last year, mine's a lighter pink though. I do like the fence on this garden, it's very, very nice. This garden won an award. I do like the staircase in the middle. You can't really see an awful lot of the details from outside this fencing, but when you go, if you could get inside, there's lots of little nice features. It doesn't really show up on camera. We've come to the end of the show. We just stopped on his way out to look at these sculptures, which I thought were very nice. The rain stopped eventually, and we've all had a good day. A bit tiring. And thank you for watching, even though it's a bit of a long one. If you stuck it out this far, then you've done well, because this has been a very long video. Thank you. Bye.